We will now move on to recognition. Tonight, we are honoring an employee from our IT department who is retiring after 32 years <laughs> at the county. <laughs> We will now move on to public comments. 
first on agenda items. Anyone who wishes to speak on another topic will have a chance to do so later in the meeting. When it is your turn to speak, please state your full name and address for the record. Each speaker is limited to four minutes and may only speak once per public comment portion. I will start with the list and then I will open it up to anyone who did not sign in. So our first person is Mr. Lewis Lopez. Hi, Lewis. Hello. Who are you, Director County Preholder? I mean, Commissioner. <laughs> I love like saying that. Uh, first time being, I mean, I'm saying it's an election. You know, I'll be working hard, take care of my disabled mom. Just, you know, the only time I got here. Uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad to see everyone. And my, my first comment is for I, for the uh, Revolution I nomination election for. Pine, uh, Pine Lane Commissioner. I'm sorry, I, what yeah. was the number? I. Oh, the nomination. Oh, yeah. Yes. What is your question? Uh, my name is uh, HUP, uh, Anna Evans from uh, Hinsport. That's why I nominated her. Is, hey. do you, so do you have any questions? Oh, you know, no, no, oh, just okay. that. Right. And, uh, question, uh, age 19 and 26, 27. So 19 is just an amendment to amend the actual dates um, for September because there was a typo, right? So the original type, the original date said 2038. Obviously, we're not there yet. <laughs> so that was just an amendment Oops. to fix that. And what was the next one? Uh, 26 and 27. So this is just our software maintenance package and the license renewal. And 27, our laptop, authorization of how to purchase laptops. That's it. I'd like to see uh, more detail about the resolution if I can, you know. You want more detail about Yeah, yeah, my, and uh, uh, not now, but I would like, if you could some more detail, I'd be seeing it, I would like to, you know, complete detail of that, get that single resolution. Okay, so we can get you that information. Is there any other items you would like? Uh, no, I don't want to say, uh, Fidel Navidad, Merry Christmas, but if I don't see you, I see you in, uh, uh, January 4th. I hope I'll see you before Christmas. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lewis. Do we have anyone else for public comments on agenda items?
We used to have the, uh, more. Oh, okay, yes. All right. Oh, wow. That's a nice uh, financial number. Uh, and then it says here, you said something about the rejection, the proposal of title medical services? Uh, sometimes if, if we do, as we have provided the medical services for the inmates we have, sometimes if the proposal we get either are above the number that we had budgeted for or don't necessarily meet all needs, we have to go back out. And to go back out, we would have to reject what we have received before. And then we'll clarify what we need and kind of go back out and see, maybe we'll get some, somebody else take a bite at and they don't provide okay. services. They'll tell us how much they'll charge us for it. All right, so that's just the services rendered within the correctional facility mm -hmm. per head. That's how they budget it. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Is there anyone else for public comment on agenda items? Is there anyone else for public comment on agenda items? Seeing none, I am closing this portion of public comment. We will now move on to resolutions. I would like to make a motion to approve resolution H1 through H27 for unanimous consent. Second. Seconded by Commissioner O'Connell. <clears throat> Are there any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion passes. Deputy Director. Thank you, Director. I'd like to move resolutions 824 through H36 for approval by unanimous consent. Yes, Okay. Sorry about that. I'd like to move H26 through H36 for approval by unanimous consent. Second. 28. 28. 28. No. No. I'm just. <laughs> 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 I have to say it again. Second. Seconded by Okay. Move H28. Through H36 for approval by unanimous consent. Thank you. Seconded Thank you. by Commissioner Singh. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The motion passes. Commissioner Apple. Thank you, Director. I'd like to make a motion to approve resolution H37 for unanimous consent. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Singh. Are there any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion passes. Commissioner O'Connell. Thank you, Director. I'd like to move resolutions H38 and H39 for unanimous consent, please. Second. Seconded, seconded by Deputy. Director, are there any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion passes. Commissioner Singh. <coughs> uh, thank you. Um, I'd like to move the resolutions H40 and H41 uh, under unanimous consent. Thank you. Are there any, um, is there a second? Thank you, seconded by Commissioner Echo. Are there any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion passes. We will now move on to nomination and election for Pine Lands Commission three year term. <clears throat> uh, the term is effective December 13th, 2023 through December 12th, 2026. Are there any nominations? I would like to nominate Douglas Walner. Are there any others? Are there any others? Hearing none, I'm now closing the nominations. Please vote by name. Aaron, please conduct a roll call. Commissioner Echo. Douglas Walner. Commissioner O'Connell. Name is Ray. Deputy Director Pullian. Douglas Walner. Commissioner Singh. Doug Walner. Director Hopkins. Doug Walner. Thank you, Aaron. Moving on, do we have any questions from the media? Seeing none, I'm closing this portion of the agenda. We will now move on to public comments on non-agenda items. Each speaker is, is limited to four minutes and may only speak once. When it is your turn, please state your full name and address for the record. We will begin with the names on the list and then I will call from out, out of order. Um, the first name on our list is Mr. Peter Fritz. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Peter Fritz. My residence is 303 Union Avenue in Delanco, New Jersey, and I am a founding member and I currently serve as the chairman of the Delanco History Board, and I'm speaking this evening on their behalf. The Delanco History Board is an advisory board 
and unit of the Lancaster Municipal Government. Our 11 member volunteer board serves by appointment for three year terms. Our primary focus is researching the history of our residences, businesses, and industry to provide advice uh, to the Joint Land Use Board and the Township Committee regarding recognition and preservation of properties of significant historic value. In the process, we have made many important findings available to our community and beyond to engender an appreciation for our history and its relation to our county and our state. This is done through public displays, presentations, special events, print publications, and media. We also serve as trustees and stewards of a small but growing collection of artifacts, documents, and photographs, which require proper conservation and preservation. I was asked by the Delanco Township Committee to come to this meeting this evening to thank you, the Burlington County Board of Commissioners, for your financial support for our special project with the County Historic Preservation Partnership Grant in 2023. Our triangle project consisted of four parts. First was production and display of five large outdoor interpreter signs highlighting historic landmarks in the section of town that we refer to as Old Town Delanco. It was a planned community established at the confluence of the Delaware River and Grand Creek in 1848. Uh, second was production and distribution of a 32 page color uh, booklet a guide to self-guided tour of 41 historic locations in Old Town Delanco. The tour is about a, a mile in length, beginning and ending at the Union Avenue Triangle, the traditional center of town. The booklets are distributed at no cost at several locations in town and is available online at the township's website. The, the History Board has made special efforts to coordinate this educational effort with our school district, making sets of tour guides available for use by history teachers in the fourth and eighth grades. Third was the purchase of specialized storage containers needed to help our trustees to care for our collection that has been entrusted to us by residents to document and preserve our history and educate our residents. Beyond this, we are able to use a small portion of the grant to mount several historic documents so they can be publicly viewed at township and county events, including the history tent at the Burlington County Farm Fair. It has been an interesting project and our entire volunteer board and many of our associate members were involved. In a broader sense, on behalf of all Burlington County historians, I would like to thank the commissioners and their growing support for history through our many historical societies, museums, and historical sites. And I brought copies of the brochures so that you would have a chance to take a look at them. I don't know how I brought 10, is that sufficient? And uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thanks, very refreshing, sir. Appreciate it. Next on our list is Ms. Ina Evans. Hello, I'm uh, Evans, 62 Power Drive, Hainsport. I've also been very busy, so I haven't been able to get here for a while, so it's nice to see you all. Um, I just have one thing from the League of Municipalities. Uh, I don't know if any of you attended the session called Think Outside the Bin, um, but it was like, I'm kind of the green person on the Hainsport Township Council, I don't know why that shocked you. Um, and they had this thing about uh, recycling expanded foam or polystyrene, as we usually think of it. Uh, using this machine, I think it's developed by Foam Cycle. Mm -hmm. And when uh, expanded foam um, decomposes, it decomposes into microplastics, so it's one of the things that's really bad for the environment. It's obviously outside of the scope of something that Hainsport could do, but I did wonder if it was something that the county would, could look into putting in its recycling facility. I, mean, I think the machines cost about 60,000. Um, <coughs> then you know, all, the, all the municipalities could benefit from being able to recycle their foam. What is the name of the machine? Uh, foam cycle. Um, then above that, I just wanted to mention that next year is Hainsport's 100th anniversary as a town, mm -hmm. and I'm sure we will be inviting you to lots of fun events um, and with, between now and then. Have a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. Thank you very much. What's, uh, Anna, what's, what's the date on that? 
Oh, the yeah. actual date for the uh, for the anniversary is, I believe, March the don't quote me seventh or something. It's March, but but we're going to have events throughout the year, and I think the big one is going to be on June the first, when we usually have our community day. Mm -hmm. So I hope we'll be able to make time. That's really funny because uh, Edgeware Park's 100 years old, June eighth. Oh wow! Okay. So we're going, we're going through the same thing. Oh okay, that's fun. All right, thanks. Awesome. All right. Do we have anyone else for public comment? Um, okay. yes. <clears throat> Hello, Bernie County Commissioner. Uh, I'll just got a couple of com uh, questions. Do you have any incentive program for people that get solar panel in Bernie County? I think that's only to the state. Oh, to the state? state? Okay, I'm gonna want a proud new owner of the solar panel. Okay, congratulations. I'll be finishing installing tomorrow morning. Congratulations. Yeah, be trying to for how many years? Three, four years? I finally you know, got one on my, on my roof, in my, with my mom. Second is, any changes to recycle old plastic or that hadn't changed? What do you mean? Recycle old plastic mm -hmm. bottles. I mean, it, I don't see, there hasn't been Recycling each of our system. Yeah. What else is being done? Collecting over wrap. Oh. Yeah. Like after recycling center. So you follow, do you have the app downloaded or is it called Recycle Coach? Um, do you have you downloaded our app? If you download the app, you'll be able to get all the information regarding recycling. And uh, any uh, celebration for Christmas Day or New Year's Eve? Uh, Everyone should be celebrating at home with their families. Oh, okay. Yes. That's a great answer. Yep. Okay, I appreciate it and take me out to uh, having us a guest. All right, thank you so much. Do we have anyone else for public comment? Happy Wednesday again, Maureen Hill for the Little Seven Grand Street. Uh, first, I just wanted to say thank you very much to, I think, uh, Stephen Sawyer or Sawyer for the um, ad and the Facebook for. Um, the Burlington County Animal Shelter. Mm -hmm. Put a shout out to tell residents to please go to the shelter mm -hmm. instead of trying to go through puppy mills and things. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. That was very refreshing to see that. Uh, second, I also wanted to. I also attended the League of Municipalities, and I just had a question: Is and collectively in Burlington County, is there? I went to a Green Acres forum. Is there something collectively in Burlington County that says we can have so much Green Acres within each township? Is there like? something at all that generates the entire world of county to say what can be used as green acres, what cannot be used as green acres, or... Uh, yeah, we have our open space. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the, the open the space. Green acres are I mean, no, yeah, that's an, I, no. No, we don't. Other than our normal open space piece, but okay. no, we don't. No. All right, and my last question is, I'm not certain where this is directed to, but I'm just curious, in Burlington County in general, uh, I see a lot of elders standing at the bus stops. I'm from New York, that's common for me. But when I come to suburban areas, it's kind of like awkward to see elders standing at the bus stop and they have no seats. Is that something that the county itself can do or is it only through the Department of Transportation that I need to submit a request to see about maybe putting benches or something? I mean, I'm driving right. around uh, the chairs in my bus stop? Right. They're, they're county bus stops and like some towns, you know, I hate to, I don't want to be biased, but some towns have them and some towns don't. And sometimes they're more upscale towns that actually have the seats and they have an overhead, and then other towns have absolutely nothing. So, you know, I'm like driving around with chairs in my car because I'm like, oh wow, there's another elder standing there with, mm -hmm. in the rain and the, the snow, the wind, and they don't even have a bench. They're standing with canes, mobility devices. So I'm not certain it's something that we can do collectively in Burlington County or if I need to be addressing the Department of Transportation, no, um, New Jersey Transportation. Okay. Um, yeah, check with Charlie. Charlie, I'm going to get you some information and um, we'll have to go through that route. Oh, okay. Right. Well, thank you. Okay. If I could, those aren't county bus routes. Those are bus routes under New Jersey Transit and DOT. Okay. Yeah. Um, Talk to Charlene. I mean, we okay. can call it out. Okay. I appreciate it. Sure, you're Thank welcome. you. Y'all have a good holiday. Thank you. You as well. So we have any, do we have anyone else for public comment? Seeing none, I am closing this portion of public comment.
We will now move on to um, comments by commissioners. Commissioner Singh, do you have any comments? Commissioner O'Connell. Thank you, Director. Uh, I had the honor and privilege on December 1st uh, to help commemorate World AIDS Day. Uh, we had a ceremony at the uh, Burlington County Library and the uh, AIDS Memorial Quilt uh, made a return visit here uh, for the first time in five years with three new panels that were submitted by Burlington County residents in the memory of their, of their loved ones. Uh, this past Saturday, I'd like to thank the uh, Historic Underground Railroad Museum of Burlington County. They invited uh, um, the commissioners out to Smithville Park, and there was a commemorative plaque uh, placed on a brick walkway in memory of the founder of uh, the Underground Railroad Museum, the late Louise Calloway. And then we, uh, in the afternoon, I went over to our, our prison museum right here on High Street in Mount Holly, uh, they got to show us what they uh, uh, used some of their money for to uh, fix up the prison museum. Uh, the director of the museum was there along with some of their board. They were very, they were very happy about the renovations that had taken place. And then finally, uh, on Saturday night, I went out with Bingo and we uh, visited Smithville Park again for Winterfest. It was a wonderful uh, event. It was uh, very well attended. There was something for everybody and the weather cooperated, it was, a, uh, it was a great night. And having said all of those three events on Saturday, I want to say thanks to our Parks Department and our uh, head of that department here, Mary Pat Rock. Uh, these folks were responsible for all three of these events. Uh, their staff is there to help uh, set up, break down. Uh, these are great things that bring our residents uh, out all for free, uh, so if you're Looking for something to do, check our website out or our social media pages. There's plenty going on in Burlington County. I'd like to wish everybody a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and Happy Holidays, and we'll see you next year. Thank you, Director. Thank you. Commissioner Eckel? Thank you, Director. Um, just wanted to thank everyone again for everything you do for the county. Thank you all residents for coming out and being part of the process, and I hope you're all enjoying the ongoing holiday season. Thank you. Deputy Director? echo uh, that sentiment as I say every uh, meeting. Thanks to all the directors, heads of uh, departments for everything you do for us every day. Mr. Fritz, that's a, that's a, great, uh, that's a great pamphlet. That's a great job. Uh, I, I, I become a little involved in some of the historic stuff with Edgewater Park because of our 100th year. And it's amazing some of the stuff that's just laying around but nobody has any idea about it. So it's, it's great that you put that all in the book. Uh, we do have one more meeting. However, I understand it's going to be during the day. So if uh, you uh, department heads that are here this evening, I wish you and your families a blessed Christmas and all the best of health and wealth in the new year. Be safe going home. Thank you so much. My comments will be brief. Mr. Chris, thank you so much for this. This is very informative. I appreciate it. Um, everyone, I hope you have an amazing holiday season. So we will see each other whenever you all come back, but we will be back in two weeks. I am now looking for a motion to adjourn. So, sorry. Whoa, no. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was in second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned.